Hi all and welcome back to your channel. So I'm at Anfield for my weekly Anfield Road expansion update. So I'm going to have a look around and um, going to have a little chat about uh, Liverpool's takeover as well. Um, well, suspected takeover if you like. So going to have a look around see what's new on the ground. And yeah, talk about that. And I'm going to talk about my uh, challenge. I'm on day 28 of my challenge. I've got two more days left, which I can't wait to finish now because it's been been hard work. I'm being honest. I'm trying to get a video out, out every day. It's the bad weather. Um, coming up with different ideas. I'd, as I said, in, I'd, I'd, I'll repeat myself what I said in yesterday's video that I haven't wanted to bore people with. Um, football ground videos every day so I've tried coming up with new things some have worked some haven't but it's just one of them things like some of the stuff I've put out I wouldn't usually put out but wanting to put a video out every day is um I've just had to put stuff out if you like so and it's just to, to get a feeling if, if, if stuff works or not as well so yeah anyway back to this video and um what's going on because there's a new section on there can't really see on there I saw that as I was driving up so yeah there it is there so it's uh, the corners are joining up now which is good to see because this stadium is going to be ready in nine months ten months well they haven't got a lot of time to get it ready so yeah, we'll have a look around. Loads of work going on inside, I can hear it going on. But yeah, back to the um, potential takeover. So let's get my notes out. So what I remember off the top of my head is there's a Qatari and Saudi backed um, consortium want to, want to buy Liverpool. And it's estimated around three million pounds. Well, yeah, or dollars, whatever. Uh, so three million, it's cheap, isn't it? Uh, three billion. <laughs> Sorry, just trying to keep an eye on everything that's going on on the screen and everything. Yeah, so three billion takeover in Qatari and Saudi based consortium. Now, uh, it's believed that these are both privately owned enterprises. So it's not a. It's not the royal family getting involved, basically. But it doesn't rule out state involvement. So read into that what you will. So, yeah. Let's have a look along here. But I know a uh, FSG are keen on selling to the state. I know that. That's been well documented in the press. We're getting on this side. So apologies for the uh, the image quality because there's a low sun. Well, there's that um that span. That should be going up soon, shouldn't it? Yeah. So yeah, FSG don't want to sell to um. state if you like I'm, I'm, I'm not that well clued up on it but it's just what things have read it's got a good looking side here yeah um, so let's just see where it goes with this consortium it's, 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 it sounds like it's uh, FSG are taking this serious and pretty sure people have got a couple of friendlies coming up in Qatar I'm pretty soon so, I think they signed it well to put the club up for sale. Um, yeah. So, let me know what you think on that. Just put above this now. Have a look from this side. get around faster I don't want the video to last too, too long I was a bit jerky I apologise 
Oh, they're all, they're all completely joined up now. But were they all joined up anyway last time? They were, weren't they? Sorry. Oh, let's have a look at anything going on on the pitch. Nothing at all going on down there. New roof, uh, the old roof's still on. Oh, yeah, that's got to be the end of the season now, isn't it? Um, yeah, another one is... That I'm repeating from yesterday as well is... People aren't happy with me <laughs> when I ask for subscribers. People to subscribe. One fella even said that um, he's unsubscribed because I keep asking people to subscribe. But it's just the nature of uh, YouTube. Now I'm going to stop this now. I'm just going to I'm just going to put my graphic on. So if you see me see my graphic come on the screen, please subscribe. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm joking. If, if you want to, you can. You don't have to. It's completely free. Doesn't doesn't cost you a thing. But it really has my channel out. Okay, so yeah, that's the last time I'm going to mention that. It'll just be a graphic on the screen from now on. Um, what else? Where's that crane? I'm above it. Yeah, let's go a little bit higher. Yeah, um. Yeah, this challenge has been really hard to be fair, but um, it's worth it. No, it's not called the challenge for nothing, is it? Oh, that's a down here. Yeah, I've enjoyed this, it. just been hard with different ideas, but it's, uh, it's been a good learning curve for me. So, and for those that don't know, it's uh, my challenge is putting a video out every day in November, so 30 videos in 30 days. I've got two days left, this is uh, day 28. And yeah, I'll take a few days break after that, once the next two days are up, so yeah. Watch me, um, my last video, please. And on the 1st or 2nd of December, I'll put a video out showing how much I earned through November. Just make sure I get all the data in first before I put the video out, that's all. Have a good look down here now. Yeah, there's another interesting thing about the, uh, the takeover as well is that Manchester United are now up for sale. And I don't think that's any um, any great shock to be honest, because the Man U fans have wanted the Glazers off for a while. And I think the Glazers are thinking the same way as FSG. You're going this is the only this is probably the highest you're going to get for a football club. And if Liverpool's going for three billion, I expect Man U to go for a lot more. You just have a bigger pull worldwide for the success that they've had in um, you know the last 20, 30 years. So I definitely go for what? Four and a half, five billion then, if Liverpool going for three. And I'll tell you what. Man City are going to be shaking in the boots tonight now. Because if Liverpool and Man United get this kind of backing and can compete financially with City, City are, are, are going to fall away. I'm being honest, it's, it's not great for the Premier League either. Because our smaller clubs are meant to compete, you know, the Bournemouth. How are they going to compete? But. It's all about the money, isn't it? That's the way football's gone, that's the way he's gone for the last... I say properly for the last 15 years. So, yeah. And when I say City will be quaking in the boots is... They're not going to attract the players that they can attract now. If Liverpool and Man U can offer the same as what City are offering, they're going to go to Liverpool and Man U. They're just bigger clubs. The more attractive clubs, bigger fan base. I'll even go as far as saying, oh, let's have a little look down here. Just hover there and I'll look down there a second. Uh, I'll even go as far as saying um, Newcastle, with, with their investment now, are going to be 
a more attractive club than Man City. Not right at this moment, but in five years' time it will be. Oh, yeah. It's going to be interesting to see. Good look around there. I haven't spoken much about the the development because I thought, you know, there's football news to talk about, so I thought I'd get that out the way. And I haven't addressed any comments because the video is going for another like half an hour then. So yeah, I will leave this there. I've rambled on enough. I'd like to hear, hear everyone's opinions. You know, like I'm, as I. As I said before, I'm not one of them who, you know, I'm not right. You know what I mean? I'm not right all the time. I'll have an opinion. I'll give that opinion. People will disagree with it, and that, that's fine. So I just want to hear people's opinions either way, whether you like it or not. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, one more thing. Does anyone watch Ashley Neal? Because he's in the car park right now. Just been by his car. Now he's moved. <laughs> ah, typical. Yeah, he was in the car park. He's he's gone now. Just uh, seeing if he's driving miles. Nope, oh, he's not there. As I keep saying about this big massive park, well, and someone walks the dog right by me. <laughs> Ah, well, anyway, Ashley Neal's just been in the car park. I was going to say hello, but I thought I'll look like a bit of a fanboy. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, I'll leave it there. Um, yeah, let me know your opinions on, on what I've been talking about. And I'll speak to you all soon. Look after yourselves. And I found Ashley Neal. He, he was there, just looking in the wrong place. Uh, see that car? In between the other two cars there, the red car, I should say. That one there. Yeah, it's Ashley Neal. We watch his channel. He's a uh, he has some good interesting points on a uh, driving. Looks like a very good driving instructor. So yeah, a little bit of interest for those who watch YouTube a lot. There you go. Yep. Anyway, look after yourselves. See you later.